Money scares you, money overwhelms you, but you know deep down inside that you need to learn it and you need to get better at it. That's why I'm here. All of 2019, I spent reading because I was in the same position as you. I needed to get better with money. I had some money in my savings that I needed to put to work and I needed to know and learn a system that I could implement so that I could do this on the monthly, monthly basis. You know, you know as well as I do. Listen, there's no sexier skill than somebody who can take a dollar and make 25 cents off of it, or 50 cents off of it, or 75 cents off of it, or another whole dollar off of it without increasing their labor hours to do it without breaking the law to do it, without selling drugs to do it. Anybody that knows how to invest their money, anybody who has a solid credit score, anybody who understands how to budget and pay their credit card bills on time every month, anybody who understands compound interest, after a certain age, those kinds of things are extremely sexy. In my research in 2019, and all the books that I read in that year, I came across this gem and I believe this gem would be an extremely smart investment for you to make if you want to improve your skills in financial literacy. It's called Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. It's a beginner's book, so he's not going to fill your head with high level technical jargon that's going to confuse this shit out of you and make this thing called money, budgeting, investing, so on and so forth, financial literacy, just like Instead, he's going to explain like the core concepts that you need to understand. He's going to explain to you through pictures, not just words. It's beautiful. Uh, what a financial statement looks like, what an income statement looks like, and what a balance sheet looks like. So now you'll understand how assets and liabilities are tied to your income and expenses through pictures. He'll also, and you know that I kind of agree with him when he says this. This, is, this will be the first time that you'll hear in writing that you'll read that the house you live in is not an asset. I get it, it's a controversial thing to say, but gotta be open to changing your whole mindset when it comes to money in order to have a new relationship to it and use it so that it works for you as opposed to you always working for it. He's got so many nuggets of wisdom. If you work for money, you give the power to your employer. If money works for you, you keep the power and you control it. Start minding your own business. Keep your daytime job, but start buying real assets, not liabilities. A person can be highly educated, professionally successful, and financially illiterate. It's not about getting rich, it's about getting wealthy. And in order to get wealthy, you have to have a wealth mindset, which means you have to completely change your mind and your perspective and your understanding of all things money. Essentially, what it means is you have to get financially literate, but that's why you're here and you already knew that. And if you want to accelerate that process, and make it less overwhelming. This book right here, Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. And luckily for you, I've added a link down below in the description. You can use the link to buy your copy. It's like nine bucks or 11 bucks paperback. But if you have a Kindle, it's like two bucks. And if you're really savvy, you can go online and probably find a free version of it somewhere. Gotta save that money, baby. Gotta save that money.